Good afternoon, everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about STX OpenStack and how it can help with the migration from virtual machines to containers. I'll talk a little bit about myself first. My name is Douglas. Uh, I'm a software developer manager. I've been working with Starling X related projects for the last three uh, years, since 2020. I'm working for Incora since before the acquisition of Dayton Group, and I'm with the team for the last 15 years. I'm based in Brazil, in case you're, you're wondering. I'm graduated as an electrical engineer and I have an MBA in project management by FGV. Uh, and you might think that this picture is me running away from a mad wife uh, and a crying kid, but that's not a, what I meant. Uh, <laughs> I just trying to say that I really like to run and I have a beautiful wife and two boys. Here are my contact information. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'll be, me and my colleagues here will be in the event for the next couple of days. All right. Uh, today, I'm gonna tell you how STX OpenStack can ease the migration from virtual machines to containers, containerized workloads. Before I do that, uh, we will illustrate the problem, one of the problems we are trying to solve. Uh, I will show you the evolution uh, in the world of telecommunications, the transition of distributed radio access network into centralized radio access network, then virtualized radio access network, and ultimately, Open RAM, which is not exactly an evolution, uh, but an alternative to VRAM. Uh, this shift brought both opportunities and challenges for telecommunication companies as they migrate from virtual network functions into containerized network functions. Traditionally, wireless network were built on a distributed architecture where each base station had its own radio, a baseband processing, and network functions. This approach, though effective, had limitations in terms of scalability, uh, resource utilization, and operational efficiency. To address these challenges, uh, the industry introduced CRAM which had its issues as well. With the advent of virtualization technologies, VRAN uh, emerged as the next step in this evolution. VRAM leverages virtualiza virtualization to further optimize network infrastructure. In VRAM, the baseband processing functions are virtualized and run on standard servers or uh, that are in data centers or in cloud environments. Uh, this virtualization allows for dynamic resource allocation, scalability, and flexibility. VRAM enables operators to efficiently deploy and manage network functions, leading to fast, faster service deployment a reduced hardware cost, and enhanced network agility. Now, we come to ORAM, which represents a significant shift in the telecommunications landscape. ORAM is an industry-wide initiative that promotes open and interoperable RAM architecture and interfaces. It aims to decouple hardware and software enabling multi-vendor interoperability, uh, also innovation and competition. 
However, this evolution from GRAM to CRAM, uh, then VRAM, and, and ORAM, it, it brings a problem, a challenge for telecommunication companies. The migration of VNFs into the containerized environment required by ORAM. VNFs are software-based network functions that were designed to run in virtualized environments, whereas CNFs are containerized network functions that leverage containerization technologies, just like Starling X. Telecommunication companies need to adapt their existing VNFs to run as CNFs, which involves re-architecting these uh, network functions, containerizing them, uh, and orchestrating them. Migrating VNFs to CNFs requires careful planning uh, as it involves performance optimization, uh, resource allocation, and networking aspects. But there's a way to make that transition smooth. By incorporating the STX OpenStack application into your Starling X cluster, you gain a powerful tool set that allows users to efficiently manage both uh, containerized workloads and traditional virtual machine workloads. The integration of STX OpenStack enables seamless orchestration, deployment, and scaling of containerized applications. Utilizing the benefits of containerization, uh, we all know, uh, such as resource efficiency, rapid deployment, uh, and portability. Additionally, STX OpenStack uh, allows for the, manage for the management of the VM's workloads, uh, providing a familiar and reliable environment for running legacy applications and supporting these diverse infrastructure requirements. Uh, this unified approach uh, to workload management within the Starling X clusters, simplifies operation, it enhances flexibility, and enables users to make the most of both containerization and virtualization in a cohesive manner. Uh, STX OpenStack is a highly scalable, just like Warren was referring to Starling X earlier today, uh, STX OpenStack is highly scalable, secure, reliable, and uh, it is a complete, complete cloud computing platform. It is a containerized version of OpenStack U3 designed to uh, support the migration of virtual machines to containers. As part of the STX9 roadmap, there are plans to migrate STX OpenStack components to Antilope, ensuring that the platform remains synchronized with the latest stable version of OpenStack. We're currently using Usuri, right? This commitment from the community guarantees ongoing updates and enhancements, aligning STX OpenStack with the most recent features uh, in OpenStack technology. It's it not as simple as other solutions that you've seen uh, that just are, just are just cloning OpenStack or using directly into their solutions. It requires some modifications to the Helm shards and updates them. Uh, so that's why uh, we have a team working uh, in, in, on, on that, on that transition and update. STX OpenStack is also designed with security in mind. Uh, it offers features like RBAC, role-based access control, encryption, and network isolation. 
considering it runs on top of Starling X, some key features of STX OpenStack include uh, the support for both virtual machines and containers, we are just describing now, allowing the easy migration between the two, uh, high availability and fault tolerance, ensuring that those applications are always up and running, and the easy deployment and management uh, through a web-based interface, just like OpenStack. We, oops, we have the flexibility to configure STX OpenStack to utilize either the OVS GPDK V switch, which is integrated uh, into the Starting X platform, or OVS, which is our own containerized vSwitch solution. By leveraging STX OpenStack, those organizations can easy mig easily migrate their workloads from virtual machines to containers, while uh, also benefiting from a range of powerful cloud computing features and capabilities. This is a simulation. I'm not that lucky with live demos like the guys from yesterday. Uh, and in here, what we are trying to see is how easy it is to launch a VM. We select a source image, uh, a flavor, and apply the network configuration, and that's it. Uh, the image, the, the instance will be created. And what we're gonna do is to try to see the console of the instance that we just launched. We're navigating through it. And next, we're opening the console. If you're familiar with OpenStack, it, it's not new for you because it is OpenStack in a containerized manner. As you can see, STX OpenStack provides a familiar and reliable environment for running traditional workloads and legacy applications. It ensures that our existing VM-based workloads integrate into our Starting X cluster, our existing Starting X cluster. This capability allows us to leverage the benefits of our highly efficient, resilient, and scalable infrastructure without the need for significant changes or reconfiguration. Just like OpenStack, we can dy dynamically allocate CPU, memory, memory, storage, and network resources, uh, resources to our virtual machines, ensuring uh, optimal utilization of our hardware. This translates into cost saving uh, in and improved network efficiency. Uh, by efficiently allocating resources based on demand, we achieve better overall performance and we ensure that our VMs scale to meet the required workload. An additional advantage lies in the interoperability and compatibility of STX OpenStack. It is built on open standards, allowing for integration with a wide range of applications and supporting the interoperability across different OpenStack-based environments. This means that we can leverage our existing infrastructure investments uh, and easy, easily integrate our VM workloads with, uh, within our Starting X cluster. STX OpenStack provides OpenStack components we are all familiar with. Uh, in conclusion, the ability to launch VMs using STX OpenStack within our Starting X cluster is game-changing capability with a multitude of benefits for your organization. Uh, by leveraging this powerful tool set, uh, we gain management of traditional VMs workloads, we optimize resource utilization, 
and we solidify security measurements uh, in promoting interoperability across our infrastructure. With STX OpenStack, we have means to meet the ever-evolving uh, demands of our business in a cost-effective, uh, scalable, and adaptable manner, and ensuring that our organization remains at the forefront of innovation and operational excellence. As we have seen, with SCX OpenStack, we can run both VNFs and CNFs in the same cluster, uh, solving the problem that was mentioned earlier. Uh, I would like to thank the STX OpenStack team and in special for Thales and Gabriel. Thales is our tech lead for the STX OpenStack project. He's a core reviewer into multiple Starling X repositories and Thales run uh, the Starling X distro OpenStack which is the name of this team. Uh, he, he runs the community call every Tuesday, 11, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Gabriel is one of the QA engineers working on this project and has done many contributions to uh, starting X automation and sanity analysis. Both of them have helped me uh, building this uh, presentation here. Um, and if you guys want a copy of this slide deck, you can reach out to Mario Zimmer. Um, he can give you uh, a copy. And if you have any questions or special needs uh, that we can, with, with starting X OpenStack or STX OpenStack, feel free to reach out to me or uh, Mario Zimmer. We'll be glad to, to help you with that. Uh, I left a few uh, a part of the presentation for questions. So if you have any specific question about this solution or how we can help you with that, uh, feel free to ask them. Sure, if you have your cluster configured properly, your starting X cluster configured properly, it's just one uh, simple command. Uh, system apply application and you pass the tarball uh, and you are all set. The secret, not exactly a secret, it's all documented, well documented in the community uh, web page. Uh, it lies on the, in the configuration. You have to provide all the configuration for the application to work properly. And uh, this is something that Incora has experience and can help with. Um, although it's well documented, um, people, uh, as with a lot of different uh, OpenStack projects, uh, people have uh, trouble getting that correctly. So we, we have the means and, and the expertise to help you uh, to set up your cluster um, and run SCX OpenStack. Um, and that's pretty much, I don't have it in here, the exactly uh, steps for you to do that. I, I can send you the link with the detailed steps. It's pretty straightforward. Um, to, to get through that process, uh, but if you need any help, we'll be glad to help. Just something we were discussing before about having this VM and maintaining the same server. Uh, is, is it possible to have VM in the same, the same machine? Uh, that, that's a good question. Um, you, you have to configure it can, one deployment, one system, uh, we will only be able to run uh, the containers workload or the VM's workload. Uh, you, you can have 
servers dedicated for uh, one type of workload, uh, but different workloads in, in your cluster at the same time. So if you configure this particular server uh, to run VM's workload, uh, all, all of this, uh, all of its resources will be allocated to run VMs, but you can have both in, in your uh, solution, your overall solution. So yeah, it, it is possible. It has been introduced, I think, in STX7, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of the features that we uh, contributed to, to the community, and uh, along with the RBAC1 role-based access network and, and uh, other contributions that we're uh, making to this project. Yeah. Anything else? If you have a, a pertinent and smart question, I'll, I'll give you one of Encora's T-shirt. <laughs> Perhaps it's compelling. Okay. I think we can wrap up then. That's pretty much it, thank you very much.